May I? Yeah, sure. Take a seat. I was told you were a man that could tell me how to find rare artifacts. Yes, that's my reputation. What do you need to find? Have you ever heard of the monolith? Yes, I've heard of it, but it's just a myth. Oh, it's no myth. And I'm gonna find it. I don't know how to find fairy tales. I cannot help you. That's a shame. Now the only reason I came here is for the drinks. I'll give you some advice now. Those who come chasing after myths usually end up on a fool's chase. One drink for me. And my friend over there. Hmm. Poor kid has no idea what this adventure will bring him. Travis, I'm home. Have you finished the scans on the obelisk? Yes, I have, sir, and there's something odd about it. Can you identify? Well, this object seems to be emitting some kind of code. I can't explain it, sir. It's, it's almost like coordinates. Coordinates? Can you put on display? Yes, I can, sir. Hold on a minute. And... There you go, sir. One odd display of the coordinates I have received from the obelisk. Strange, these coordinates seem to make up a map of sorts. I... I don't know, I... Travis, can you make any sense of this, like, at all? No, I can't, sir. It's... I, it's strange to me as well. My processors can't seem to, well, process any of this. Wait, but what are those red dots on the map? These red dots seem to make up these specific coordinates. It's what the obelisk has told me. And these red dots seem to be on two different planets. Mars and Earth's moon. Strange. Do you think these coordinates maybe locations? Like, to another artifact? Could be, sir, but that seems to be a very, very off chance, but I don't see a reason why not at the same time. What should we do now, sir? Now that we have those coordinates, what's next? What do you mean, what's next? We've already explored, it's, we are, we've already explored Earth's moon. I think it's time we take a little field trip. Ready yourself for transfer. We're going to Mars. What is up, my dino peoples of the world, or should I say space engineers of the world? And welcome to Space Engineers Season 2, Quest for the Monolith. Now. Uh, in the last season, we obviously made a base on mo on the moon, and we found the obelisk, which is kind of interesting, and we kind of just began our research on, well, the Earth itself and its atmosphere. Well, now, I'm curious as to see what happened to those, like, what are those coordinates supposed to lead to on Mars? Is it in our artifact? Who knows? All we can really know is that we gotta go to Mars. Now, before we go to Mars, we got to upgrade our ship. Now. The reason being is because Mars is, tends to be a little bit crime-filled, like in atmosphere and out of atmosphere, so we're going to need upgraded maneuverability, upgrade weapons, 
everything. Like, if we could get shields, I would get shields, but we sadly don't have those resources available to us right now. So, and just in general, the ship does need a good upgrade. It's been like, what, a year since this thing's been built? This thing needs an upgrade. So we're going to start by building a missile turret. Now, we don't... We have the resources to build the turret. It's... Ah, ow. Okay, that, that was a mistake. Let's not do that again. Alright, so we have the missile turret. Bam. Let's begin building. Now, we have enough resources to build the missile turret. We have enough missiles to probably keep it, you know, in the fight for quite a little bit. We won't... We don't have any uranium, though, so we can't exactly make any more missiles and... Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a problem. There we go. Hmm. There we go, metal grids. Going to need some of those. Bar steel tubes, got it. Assume we'll need computers as well, so I'm just gonna grab a couple of those. Let's grab them all. Now, large steel tubes. Where are the large steel tubes? Yeah, where are the large steel tubes? Um. Oh, I should probably actually type it in. There we go. Do we not have any large steel tubes? No, we do. Okay, yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm just stupid. Now we need motors. There we go. And there's our missile turret done. Now it should. Now let's check its inventory. Yeah, see, it's already filling up with missiles. Good. All right, so we have a... Now, we need to go into the grids. We just need to add it to the actual... Now let's set the right configuration. So we want an idle movement, so we're going to disable that. So that's range 800. I don't want it to target small ships because it seems like a waste of missiles. Um, yeah, everything else should be fine, hopefully. Now, to keep it straight, we're just gonna do this. There we go. Alright, here we go. Big Bing Bong has a missile turret. Now, let me just set the time of day. There we go. Now, you can better see the ship. Now, we need to increase the, maneuver the maneuverability thrusters, because um, something I realized, like, going back into flying the ship, its backwards thrust is really bad. So we need to, like, it. it's really bad. I have to, like, I can't even describe how bad it is. So we're going to set up some, some hydrogen thrusters, because as far as I can tell, I don't think there are any hydrogen thrusters, like, for, for the backwards, like, thrust. So we're going to do that. Yeah, let me check. Backwards. Yeah, that's what I thought. We have no hydrogen thrusters for the backwards thrust, so we should probably fix that. Now, to where to put them, though, that's the question. Where are we going to put them? Hmm. Oh, I think I might, I think I might have an idea. Why is there no audio? Oh. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. I don't know why there's no audio, guys. I'm sorry. Like, I... Hmm. That's odd. There should be audio. Yeah, here we go. Audio. Okay, we'll just turn the music up, I guess. Yeah, we'll just do that. Alright, there we go. That should fix it. Hopefully. That should fit. That sh there we go. Yeah, here we go. 
still can't hear anything. I might have to do something in actual in-game settings, because that's going to get really just boring, because I can't hear anything. There we go. Alright, so, I'll, yeah, I'm definitely going to add some building music in the background. So what will we need? Probably, okay, hold on. There we go. There we go. Oh, wait, I'm out of hydrogen bottles. Too. Why the heck do I have nothing? <laughs> huh. Components, tools, here we go. Four of those built, and four of those built. And then we just have to go to a Notorious 2 generator, should be filling them up with stuff, hopefully, with these. Well, this is a process and a half. I, uh, okay, there we go. I was gonna say, what happened to the... There we go. Alright, there we go. Now we have a ton of hydrogen and oxygen, so let's get to work. Let's get back to work. Alright, so for these, we need interior plates, construction components, those are kind of the big things, so I'm just gonna get a ton of those. Construction components and interior plates. Where are interior plates? There you are. I just want to get an even amount. There we go. Alright, let's get to work. Now, small steel tubes and motors, those are next thing. Small steel tubes. Probably actually. And motors. Wait. I swear, I can never find, I need to be more organized. Like, I kind of just chucked everything in here, didn't I? We don't really need that many small suit tubes. Do need motors, though. There we go. Okay, don't know why the thing's not doing its thing. Oh, we might have to do these. Here we go. There we go. Now for thrusters. Okay, hydrogen thrusters are actually not that expensive, so we can just... Yeah. Okay, so what do we need? Steel plates. So a lot of steel plates. Oh, life support's failing. Yeah. What the? Oh, my antenna's off. Oh, 
Wenn ab. Alright, there we go guys, we now have better maneuver maneuver uh, maneuvering thrust. Let's give it a go. Now, real quick, I want to see if this room's pressurized. Yes, yes it is. Beginning takeoff. Alright, now, test testing, stopping thrust now. Okay, it's not, it's not as bad. Definitely not as bad. Yeah, that's more doable now. All right, perfect. Now we just gotta make that look kind of look better because that kind of doesn't look too good. So let's take it back in for landing. Oh yeah, let's add to the let's see hydrogen thrusters. We need to add the backwards ones to that grid, just so we can turn them off if we need to, like this. And there we go. Man, the moon is really dull. I honestly cannot wait to actually get back and get to Mars. Honestly. Alright, now, what else do we need to do? Well, it's gonna be a long journey. Maybe we should install, like, like quarter, like sleeping pot, and like sleeping areas or something. Probably something like that. Maybe I don't know. Well, downward thrust is still terrible. What the hell? Why is uh, why is hydrogen thrust not kicking in? That's not normal. Why is the hydrogen thrust not kicking in? Why the heck? What's going on? Yeah, what's going on? Oh. What? Who said... Okay. That... That was weird. Okay, apparently someone said... Did I set the thrust override without knowing it? I didn't... I don't recall doing that, but I guess I did. Huh. That was odd. Apparently there's a ghost on the ship. Ooh, as if this series wasn't mysterious enough with the whole, you know, monolith and obelisk thing. You have to worry about ghosts. Alright, so, now, we need ways for me to kind of just chill on the ship. So we need, like, I don't know, like a game or something that we can play? No idea. Do we really need the hydrogen? We don't really need the hydrogen generators, so we can get rid of the hydrogen engines, actually. We can get rid of them, right? I'd say we can get rid of them. Yeah, we can totally do that. 
Well, actually, mm, I don't know. Could we... Okay, I need to find a natural place to put the... Because I'm thinking I'm just going to put beds. I don't think I'm going to put cryopods. Oh, it's right here. There we go. Yeah, we can definitely put the beds here. So let's go get... What do we need for beds? Uh, we need interior plates. kind of the big thing. Boom. Boom. Oh, wait. We actually probably have the resources we need to build them. tubes and interior plates. Got it. That's pretty much all we really have. We have a lot of interior plates and small steel tubes. There we go. We have beds. Don't know why I didn't add these before, but I'm adding them now, I guess. Oh, and we're going to have to reset the... Um, we're going to have to reset the ship diagnostic script in order to make it so it doesn't look like the ship's broken. Alright, but yeah, that's the, um... Oh, wait, I just realized something. <laughs> you can spy on them as they're sleeping. That's creepy. Alright, so what else do we need? Okay, upgrade thrusters, upgrade weaponry with a missile turret, sleeping quarters, kinda, kinda sleeping quarters. I mean, it's a bed. That counts, right? I mean, it's weird that it's in the reactor room, but kind of everything's here. Like, the secondary Brit, and, like, the secondary cockpit, um, sleeping quarters, reactor room, production. Kind of everything's in this room. This is kind of like the main room. If this gets destroyed, we're kind of screwed. But this is the true bridge. This is, this is the bridge. Huh. I don't really know. Oh, maybe probably something we... Okay, well, duh, reset the ship diagnostic script. Yeah, we definitely just reset it now. Alright. So we gotta head back down. We gotta head to the Hainer Bay, I think that's... Yeah, head down to the Hainer. There we go. Now let's reset this. Okay, so we gotta replace these... to here. This is kind of like a reminder tutorial. Ship diagnostics. We'll just, um, I just want to make the screen look like something different. We'll just go with charts. There we go. That looks nice. Beautiful. Now we just go down to edit. Browse scripts. And then just fill ship diagnostics. Click OK. Check code. Everything's good. Everything's good here. Now we head to this timer block. Name it Ship Diagnostics. You'll see why we're naming these. We'll go silent, delay to one second, and then we're just gonna type in ship, not ship. And there we go, we have the things available. So now we're gonna click on the program uh, programmable block. We're gonna click run, click confirm. We're gonna click on the timer block, trigger now, start. And then we're gonna click trigger now, and the script should be running, so let's go head to the bridge and we'll take a look at it. Okay, uh, appears the ship doesn't want to... I don't want to know anymore. This. Okay, so this room's pressurized. Alright, there we go. Ship diagnostics are running as planned. Let's go over here. This script has been running. And then we'll head to the engine room. the okay yeah the ship diagnostics report is running a hundred percent we're a green light for well everything all right so I guess all we really got to do now is well I guess we just got to transfer uh, Travis's AI matrix into the actual ship so let's go ahead and just get that done all right, that should be the system set. I just gotta plug in the script and everything should be fine. Um, 
And there we go. Uh, Travis, how you feel? Like I've just been transferred from a massive research structure to a flimsy ship. Well, that's the attitude I like to hear. Um, is the ship ready for takeoff? All systems check, sir. She's clear. Alright, well, I guess let's... I guess let's head on out. Are you sure you don't want to deposit any resources from the research facility into here? Well, all the data that we need is currently in your matrix right now, so we're kind of set. So let's prep the ship for takeoff, shall we? Thrusters, check. All thrusters are activated and ready to go. Turrets, check. All turrets are primed and ready. Reactor core is stable. Hangar bay. Closed and sealed. All vehicles are contained. Begin takeoff procedure. Alright, let's go. Full speed. I love the main thrusters I put on this thing. Prepare to exit atmosphere. Well, gravity well, not atmosphere. And prep jump drives. Jump drives are prepped and ready. Copy that. Let's get let's just keep full speed. Alright, let's start coasting. I don't want to waste too much hydrogen. Alright, we've exited the gravity well. Let's prep the jump. Jump drive is spraying up. Sending course for Mars. Let's go.